taxes, right? No, a lot of times you're wrong. <laughs> And that's what's frustrating about taxes, is because nobody knows if they're right or wrong. You have to end up asking a professional, you do 18 Google searches, and we're all left confused. Nobody likes doing taxes. Well, except our CPA friend, Hi Clay. <laughs> he loves doing taxes, and we love that he loves doing taxes. Find you a Clay in your life. <laughs> all right, video's over. Hey guys, we're Jenny and Davis. We are small business owners. We have been in the military and we've had four or five businesses over the years since 2015. So uh, we've got a lot of experience filing very complicated tax returns. We are not tax professionals, no. but we can share with you a lot of the tips and strategies that we've used to make tax season uh, just effortless. We don't even really think about it. We just send the stuff to the CPA, tax return comes back. There are some things that we do throughout the year to make April way more seamless and relaxing and less stressful than it has to be. Because you should focus on building and selling things, not bean counting. So uh, there's a lot of things you can do to automate this and make life so simple. So let's dive into small business taxes. All right, Jenny, what are taxes? Taxes are basically the amount of money that the government takes to be able to fund certain things that they do. Right, so like running a business in America, we gotta use the roads, right? We gotta use uh, banking systems that are insured by the government. We've gotta use all sorts of things that the government uh, puts in place for us to do business and they wanna get paid back for that. So we have to pay taxes. And small business taxes are different from personal taxes, right? So the main thing that's different in business taxes is that you get taxed on your profits at the end of the year. Whereas with your personal taxes, throughout the year, you make small payments. Every time you get a paycheck, some of that money is taken out so that you pay your taxes up front, and then you might file for a return if you're eligible at the end of the year. I'm oversimplifying. <laughs> Please talk to a tax professional, but that's largely how it works. Now there's a lot of different taxes. So what we've been talking about is income tax, but there's also payroll taxes if you have employees, you gotta pay franchise taxes if you're a franchise. Sales tax. You gotta pay sales tax too over a certain volume. There's a lot of different taxes that you need to pay and we're gonna try to help you get started the cleanest, neatest way possible so that it never turns into a giant nightmare for you. <laughs> All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over five of the biggest pain points in, in tax prep and and we're gonna go over five solutions to those five pain points. So let's dive right in. All right, so the first pain point when you're doing taxes is the complexity of the tax code. I mean, it's so hard to understand. There are pages, you could read for hours on the tax code and still not fully understand everything that applies to you. I remember my first year in business, I thought I was just gonna like read the whole tax code or at least the parts that were important to me and I was gonna be able to fill out my own taxes flawlessly and I, no, no. It, it turned into two weeks of me just like reading article after article, page after page, and just crying in the corner with my laptop because it was just, it's really important that even though the tax code is incredibly complex, that the solution here is to streamline your processes. Make everything as simple as possible. We'll get into some strategies on how to do that, but the, the overall goal should be to reduce the amount of time you spend bean counting and increase the amount of time you spend in the shop or making sales. Yes. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, North One. North One is an online business banking platform helping American small businesses take control of their cash flow. They are literally made for small businesses. They have on-call support and tailor-made tools to help make sure your business lasts for a long time. They make it really easy to manage your money while you're busy building your business. You can open an FDIC insured account in less than three minutes without even having to step foot into a bank. You can deposit checks, save for taxes, wink, wink, and keep tabs on your cash flow. And you can do all of that from the North One app on your phone. And spoiler alert, if you're still watching, the whole point of this video is to help you automate more things when it comes to taxes. And North One will help you automate everything from budgeting to bookkeeping. North One has this really cool tool called Envelopes. You can virtually budget and set money aside for things like taxes, payroll, or future material purchases. You can even link that to your QuickBooks account and automate your budgeting even more. Say goodbye to the spreadsheet forever. They also help you get paid fast. They have same day ACH transfers. 
They also have higher ACH and check deposit limits, which means North One can handle even your biggest jobs. And another thing that's really nice is North One has really transparent pricing. It's just a flat $10 a month and no hidden fees. You get free ACH transfers, no overdraft fees, and access to over 2 million ATMs. If you want to automate your business finance needs, we highly encourage you to check out North One. Everyone who uses our link below will automatically get a $10 credit when they open and fund an account. Seriously, you, you get paid $10. And while you're checking it out, we know you're going to love it because 82% of North One customers spend less time on their business finances. And that is the whole point of automating business finances so that you're not wasting time counting beans, but you're actually out spending time making money. So download the North One app today and get your $10 credit. So what are some of the ways that we can streamline our tax processes, Jenny? So one of the ways we streamline our processes is to use an accounting software. We've invest invested in um, a bookkeeping software, but if you're not quite to that point, maybe you're a newer business, you're not you know, dealing with that much money and you wanna keep it all in spreadsheets, that's totally okay too. You just need something to keep your numbers straight. It is most important to track the money that's coming into your business and the money that's going out of your business. At the end of the year, you will be so thankful that you have an organized log of your expenses and the sales you've made, whether that's with a big fancy bookkeeping software or just a couple of Excel spreadsheets. And that brings us to the second pain point in dealing with small business taxes, and that is that it's really hard to keep accurate records of everything. Um, it's a little easier now in the digital age because if you use a cheap software, you can keep uh, everything organized, but um, yeah, it's really hard to keep accurate records. And so a couple strategies that we follow, uh, the, the biggest one is we keep all of our business money and our personal money separate from each other. We use separate bank accounts. That has been a game changer. This is something that we listened to when someone was giving us advice and oh my gosh, this one tip has saved us so much headache because we don't have to look back six months ago and wonder, was that run to the grocery store? Was that for staging a charcuterie board or did we just want chicken strips that night? And Trying to figure out whether it was a business expense or a personal expense is impossible, especially if you forget for a couple weeks to track every last expense. If it's in the business account, uh, no doubt that it was a business expense. If it's in the personal account, there is no doubt that it was a personal expense. And if you swipe the wrong card at checkout one time, it's really easy to just make an annotation and say, hey, I spent this in the wrong account, and you can keep it all smooth. But that's the, that's the biggest piece of advice that we can tell you. Please, please, please have a separate bank account for your business adventure. It's also easier to see if you're making money or losing money, which is super important in the first few months of running a business. And at the end of the year, it's much easier to confirm with your tax return if your profit and loss statement uh, accurately reflects what's in the bank account. You know everything for the year has been kept pretty clean. And the third pain point when it comes to filing small business taxes is a lack of understanding the deductions and credits, because there are a lot of them. Yeah, not only is the tax code complex, there's also a whole different like language of understanding what types of expenses there are and putting them in the right account. Uh, and what can I truly deduct? What can I write off? What am I not allowed to write off? And again, you can spend two weeks crying in the corner trying to research this on your laptop or uh, our solution is to just hire a tax professional. There are people whose literal job, they have to take a test, they have to go to school, they have to do all this stuff, jump through all these hoops to prove that they know the tax code. Uh, let those people do your taxes. It's really not all that expensive. It's probably gonna be between two and $400 to get everything done for you. And if you value your time at $30 an hour. Which is on the lower end of the spectrum. It is, it's officially, a waste of time for you and it makes sense to hire a tax professional to do it instead. Not only are they going to be able to do it faster and cheaper, they're also going to do it better. Yes. I can't tell you the amount of times we've gotten emails back from our CPA when they're filing our taxes for the year and they say, did you know you could have been writing this off all along? You could deduct this. That's going to save you hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, I had no idea. Thank you. Yes. So please keep, if you take nothing away from this video, please. <laughs> Keep your business money separate from your personal money and hire a tax professional to do your taxes. You follow those two steps. First of all, if you follow the first step, your tax professional is going to love you. <laughs> and if you follow both of them, 
tax season is going to be no sweat, just a total breeze for you. Because we're all scared of an audit. That's, that's what we're trying to avoid, is we don't want the IRS taking a closer look into our bank account and trying to figure out everything that we're doing wrong. That is, that is a gigantic loss of time and money and effort for us. So your tax professional is going to be able to help you uh, stay out of hot water. You could be filing something on your taxes and you don't even realize that that's a red flag for an audit. Even if it's the truth, it, it could just be something way out of the ordinary that flags you for an audit. And a tax professional is going to be able to see that and help coach you through it. And what's really cool is a lot of tax professionals will make the first meeting with you free. You can just meet them, tell them about your business and, and what you do and what you're gonna need help with for no charge at all. It really helps to have someone who understands your situation uh, when they're plugging in numbers for your taxes. Free tax software online doesn't do a great job at that, although it's, it is getting better. Uh, a, a real person who knows you and knows your business is almost always gonna be a better option. And the last thing, and this is like kind of the, the exclamation point on this whole thing is, it, when you spend time and energy doing taxes, you are not spending time and energy making money in your business. Whether that's being out in the shop making stuff, whether that's talking and making sales calls, or, or, or just visiting and, and, and meeting new people and networking for your business to grow. The more, every minute that you spend on taxes is a minute not spent making money. So a couple things that we do is we have a tax prep checklist. Very simple, it's got like three things on it. Number one is stay on top of your transactions. We use QuickBooks that helps us organize our expenses. So at the end of the year, we wanna make sure we tie out the books and categorize every transaction correctly. The second thing is that we go through and anybody that pays us money, we download our appropriate tax forms as soon as they're available in January. And we send that to the CPA. And, and the third thing is we have a scheduled phone call with the CPA to go over everything and make sure that we're not missing anything. We really try to keep it as simple as possible. We don't wanna go through 10 different things. We try to streamline this as much as we possibly can because it is something that is stressful, it is painful, it is confusing. And so if at the not end of the year- Not for me. Okay, well now, because you have the checklist, see exactly, you can be confident and stress-free like Davis if you make yourself a three-step tax checklist at the end of the year. The cheesy old saying is true, an ounce of preparation is worth a pound of cure. If you start off on the right foot and you keep things separate and you hire a professional, you will have very few problems when it comes to taxes, as long as you're not doing anything illegal. But CPA should help you out with that. <laughs> we should have made that like tip one. Tip one, don't do, don't anything, do anything illegal. illegal. <laughs> That was assumed. I guess you can't assume I that. I can't, I don't know. Anyway, bottom line, keep your personal money and your business money separate from each other and hire a professional in April. And if you've got the extra cash, pay someone qualified to do your bookkeeping for you too. That way you don't even have to touch the software. You just swipe the credit card, get to building and making your customers happy. I hope some of these tips and strategies are implemented in your business very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I know we've gotten a lot of requests to make this video about small business taxes and we just do a lot of content about stuff like this so subscribe stick around for a while we'd love to have you if you've enjoyed our videos for a while and you want to get a deeper understanding of what it is that we do day to day in our business join the stud stack that's where we break down almost anything almost anything is fair game in the stud stack our business is an open book in there uh, you got any questions or anything like that we will explain in great detail uh, every little thing that we do in the stud stack so that's the best way to get in contact with us if you want a specific question answered. Otherwise, thank you so much. We will see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.